What's up, Raf gang? It's Raf. Raf Cave. Welcome back to another unboxing. Now, this here, guys, is for another important piece of the home theater calibration experience. We're talking about the Mini DSP 2x4 HD. Now, this guy here is what I'm going to plug my subwoofers into. And if you, if you have multiple subwoofers at home, you're going to want to have this to plug your subwoofers into. So with, with the 2x4 HD, this is going to give you so much control of the bass waves in your theater to make sure you have equal bass throughout your seating area, to make sure you have the right crossover set, to make sure you have the right time alignment, to make sure you have the right level matching, gain matching, I mean delay, in the phase, all that stuff can be done right here and through the, the software on your computer. And this thing, you can customize your subs to sound incredible. You can adjust the slope. Like you don't want it to go way deep. You can make it go shallow and kind of roll off nicely. So it's nice and smooth. I mean, there's so much to do. I have no idea what I'm doing, but at least I have the equipment to do the things that people do to make the thing work. <laughs> Whatever that means anyway. So I'll, I'm going to unbox this for you, show you what's inside. <clears throat> this isn't going to be like, this is what you do to calibrate your subs. I mean, I'm just the raft cave. I get things and I like to watch movies. But uh, through the power of just watching things and listening to things all over the internet, then maybe I can do this on my own. We'll see. That being said, let's look at a few pictures of this, shall we? So, <clears throat> pick this up on Amazon. Picked this up on the 12th. Got it in two days, so it's fantastic shipping. Thank you, Amazon Prime. This goes for 205. That's the standard pricing for this bad boy. Mini DSP 2x4. So look at some pictures here. All right, so uh, this is going to be. Let's say this is the front. So it's got two inputs: input one, input two. Now I'm I'm strictly speaking to this as a subwoofer um, calibration thing in a bobber, right? Now you can do this for your front speakers if you want to go through your amplifier and go through all your speakers that way. But for me, it's just for subwoofers. Now it has two, so I'm only going to use one, right? Even though your receiver has two outputs, turn off the second output, just have one subwoofer output going to that input one. And then you have a toss, toss link, optical input, and USB for your laptop. And then there's an IR, which you can uh, purchase a separate remote if you want to uh, configure up to four different profiles. So say like one profile is for deep movie bass. Another profile is for, say, music, right? Not so not so rumbly for music. So you can kind of switch on the fly uh, between profiles, which I I'm not going to do that. I want mine more theater-focused. And if I listen to music, I don't mind the bump. All right, so let's move on to the second picture. Now, this is going to be the back. Now, see here, guys, you're going to have the power input. The AC adapter comes with it, which is nice. But look at this, four outputs. And I'm going to be using all four outputs for my subs. Um, so that's great. So now you just run your RCAs into this bad boy, and the Mini DSP is strictly giving your subwoofers the best possible performance. Uh, next picture, the top down, and then you get the license code that you redeem on Mini DSP's website, and that'll give you the software to use it. Parametric EQ, I mean, this little graph here. See, what, what we're doing, guys, here. All right, so th this, is the, this is the layout for the Mini DSP on your laptop. And look at you got four configurations, right? That's going to be for the remote control if you want to go or just click the button to make a different profile. But input one, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to use input one and turn on all four outputs and then input two, just leave all that off. So that's how that works. And then you got your input, that's your, that's your, uh, your, your volume basically for uh, the subs here. And then you have your parametric EQ, which is going to be this right here, this screen is basically going to allow you to EQ those those dips and, and peaks. You're going to be able to, to get that more of a, a straighter line, right? We won't have so many little mountains. We'll flatten that out a little bit. So there's a lot of things you can do here, which is crazy. And on Mini DSP's website, you know, it shows you some diagrams. You know, your receiver or, pr or processor, that's going to give you all your speakers. And then you have your TV and your device. And then you go into the Mini DSP here which goes to your four subwoofers, right? That's what I'll be doing. That's my configuration. And if you have like a separate amplifier for your subwoofers, then you go into the amplifier 
like that. So lots of different ways to configure this. Um, single subwoofer output. So here. So now we're looking at this little graph. That's fantastic. Arlo, or Arlo, can you be quiet for a moment, please? Thank you. Now, when we do our subwoofer um, measurements here, this is going to be REW. This is going to give you the, the lines of your subwoofers. And say this, this person here has three different subwoofers. You make three different colors so you can know exactly which sub is being measured. But you see here, look at all these dips down here. And then these dips here and these peaks here. Because you want to have like a nice line going across, right? And what the, the mini DSP is going to do is it's going to try to flatten all this out. Okay, sorry about that. All right. Um, so yeah, basically you want to get that those subs close as possible and also more of a nice gradual line to get rid of all these squiggly things. That's the, the whole idea. So you get good response across the room. Um, yeah, subwoofer placement is a thing. You know, sometimes you don't have uh, perfect perfect rooms to put your subs in all four corners. So with the microphone, it allows you to test your sub at one location. Then you can move it a little bit, test it again to get the right spot for that particular sub. So lots of things to do for placement that this can help you out with. And then, of course, the, uh, the what we want is right here. So you go from basically this squiggle mess here to try to get it as close as possible. See, so that's the idea. Yeah, this look at this dip right here. Oh, gross, right? We don't want that. We want it like this, right? So this is probably what I'm getting right now. I have no idea. I'm just going off Odyssey. You, you can't really tell. No, it must sound good. I guess it's good, right? Oh, it could be so much better with this mini DSP. So, man, it's crazy. So this is going to take me along this nice, beautiful line right here. Look at this. That's beautiful. Because we're only going to about 100, you know, maybe a little higher than that for base. But that is... This is what I want in my system. A nice flat line. Look at under, over to 10. To 10, you know, to 10 hertz and you're up to 75. That's pretty decent. That's awesome. All right, guys. So let's get the unboxing going, right? <clears throat> That's what we're here for. Let's see what's inside this little box. Let me switch the camera here. Boom. All right. So here's the box. Mini DSP. Little cardboard box here. No tape. You just, so this is going to be your code to download the required software. So that's important. We need, we need that. Um, some kind of business card. I'm not sure why that's in there. So it looks like this is going to be your power adapter. And of course, you're going to get all the different, you know, configurations for the power adapters, depending on where you are in the world. Um, of course, it already has the standard prong adapter for America, right, Dale? All right, we're good there. Then we're going to get this nice uh, USB cable here. It looks to be about, about four feet or so. You're probably going to have to get an extension, you know, because my receiver is going to be way over there. I'm going to be sitting probably right here. So I'm going to get a nice 2.0 extension cord, go to my laptop. And be able to do all the things right here from the theater. And now the main event. Oh, oh yeah. The power. Mini DSP2 by 4HD. Oh, man. That's nice. Solid aluminum construction. Not too heavy, but you know it's, it'll do the job. All right, there's your, your front, and there's your back. Mini DSP, baby. Boom. All right, guys, so <clears throat> I have all the necessary components. We have the microphone, the uh, UMIK1 microphone. We now have the Mini DSP 2x4 HD. And we have a laptop. I'm going to get all the software downloaded. And uh, once I get all my subwoofers going, it's off to the races. You know, it's going to be a long process. I'll try to make some videos on it. But uh, it'll be the, the short and condensed version. Who knows? Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. Like, subscribe, share. Welcome to the Raft Cave Club. Feel free to become a VIP member on my channel. So when I do live streams, be able to chat with you, be able to get them badges, and get some cool stuff as well. Anyway, guys, have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Home Theater Rules. Raft out. See you guys.